Have you ever been sitting in traffic wondering why you can just uh, lift off and fly to your destination? I'm talking about door-to-door -door aerial transportation. I wonder myself about why I couldn't fly over traffic. The difference is that I'm an aerospace engineer and I work for many companies and many aircraft programs, companies like Boeing, Bombardier and Embraer, and I think I figured out a way of doing it. Every revolution in the history of aviation is enabled by a new uh, propulsion system. Uh, we're witnessing the advent of air taxis, flying air taxis, um, which are enabled by distributed electric propulsion. This new way of uh, getting uh, airplanes to fly is allowing us to design new configurations for missions that were previously impossible, like flying over traffic. My design is a hybrid configuration that involves a quadcopter type uh, tilt ducted fan, and each of these fans are able to uh, tilt, uh, creating the possibility of lifting off and uh, taking off vertically and landing uh, vertically. They are in two um, different planes, which allows the uh, flow that comes out of the uh, front uh, tilt uh, ducted fans not to interfere with the ones in the rear. And that makes a very clean configuration um, where uh, the potential for thrust is improved. Uh, the hybrid configuration includes a wing, which has a new design and is inspired by birds. And um, the wing allows for transitioning to vertical flight, to horizontal flight, by providing lift as the um, tilt rotors go into a converted plane uh, mode. And then once the transition is done, the wing starts picking up lift and allows the uh, tilt rotors to become completely horizontal. So this uh, hybrid uh, configuration, this combination of features, um, is at this point unavailable uh, commercially. So this um, configuration, this design, is now a patent uh, pending design. And uh, we expect to use it for many applications, including uh, some unmanned aerial vehicle um, um, uh, configurations, designs where we can carry different type of cargo and eventually when it becomes capable enough with batteries and other technologies um, would be able to carry also passengers. The uh, vehicles that we're seeing on the streets now are at about 200 watt hour per kilogram and the need for aerial vehicles is about a thousand watt hour per kilogram so there's still a way to go. But I think it's going to happen, it's going to, pos to be possible, and I believe that in order to get there, my best flight path is to engineer configurations for different applications by scaling down the area person of vehicle and making it into unmanned aerial vehicles that could be used for agriculture, for infrastructure, and for carrying cargo. And eventually, about five to seven years from now, if they will be able to carry passengers. So now imagine uh, you're at home and you decide that you have to go to work, you have to do some commuting, or you have to go to some destination, and you order on demand one of these aerial uh, vehicles, and you open your door, and you find the vehicle parked in front of your house. Then you get in, you ask the AI to transfer you from where you are, transport you to a new destination, and the computer basically analyzes this new destination and calculates alternative landing, uh, land, landing scenarios. The reason why the computer will do that is because this flight has to be very, very safe, and in aeronautics, it's uh, easy or relatively easy to take off, but it's a bit more difficult to land. <laughs> um, so um, we are starting with this uh, approach where we want to form a community, and this is our landing page, and we are inviting you to come visit, contact us if you feel passionate about the future of personal flight. <laughs>